welcome to Kristen Kelly TV. So today I am going to do a story time for you. I did a story time about a roommate I had and everyone seemed to really enjoy that video. So here is another roommate story. So my very, very first roommate I ever had, I was 13. I was in boarding school and her name was Nancy. Nancy is her actual name. Um, so Nancy was this like really kind of like scary lesbian. I feel like she wanted to be um, kind of like a little scarier than your average um, like person. She had blonde eyelashes and she would pluck them and she had, uh, she would just wear like really crazy stuff. Like she'd wear like a lot of like swastikers with like an X through them, you know, meaning like that she was like against Nazis. Um, and she was like really big into the LBGT community. And she was, um, she was actually really not that bad. And it was funny because when I had moved in, it was, she was the only one who I could like move in with because I had moved in halfway through the year as a live-in student before that I was a day student. And so it was like everyone, and at the time I had brown hair and people still called me Barbie. So everybody was like, Barbie's moving in with the devil. Barbie's moving in with the devil. Like everyone kept saying that. Like I heard Barbie's moving in with the devil so many times. People were like, did you hear Barbie and it's moving in with the devil? Um, and cause I was, you know, I'm like very like, hi everybody. And I have like a very, you know, I'm very like preppy and I'm very, you know, like I'm, she was like really like, and I was like super like, ah, da, 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 da. we were complete opposites. And she was actually probably one of the best roommates I ever had because we were so different. Uh, my boyfriend at the time, his best friend was like picking on her and would like say stuff to her. He would like walk by her and like fart on her. So I told him, I was like, don't ever do that again. And he actually went up to her and apologized. And then she was like, hey, she's like, so-and-so came up to me and apologized. Did you have anything to do with that? And I was like, yeah, well, like I told him you're my roommate, so like don't fuck with you. So she was like, that's really cool. I'm like, yeah. Um, we So we had a pretty good relationship. The only thing was that I did give her uh, like over a hundred dollars to get me a fake ID and she said she was gonna and then she never did and then I saw her again and she acted like she didn't even like know who I was because I think she like thought I was gonna be like hey where's my my hundred or my fake ID which it's all I wanted was a fake ID because I wanted to get my belly button pierced <laughs> um but she was pretty good um, and we were so, so opposite. Like we probably didn't have one friend in common. We looked, acted different. Um, I'm trying to think of like, uh, other things, you know, like even our, when we would like conversate, like we were so different. I mean, my side of the room was like, everything was like pink, like Barbie looking and her side of the room was everything was like a goth. Um, like crazy, actually tons of rainbow stuff. She had like so much rainbow stuff. Um, and we were just so super duper opposite, but because we were so opposite, we, I think worked out really well because she's like by far the most opposite roommate I ever had. And we really worked out well. And I mean, I'm talking about like, we weren't like roommates, like living in an apartment, each in separate rooms. We were like in an actual room. Those are like real, real roommates. Um, trying to think of like anything like you know and it was it's weird because I feel like whenever I look for roommates now I try to find people who are like similar to me but honestly like find a roommate who is opposite of you and you will be set you will have a good roommate experience and every roommate after that like honestly fell short uh but she was really on a different level. So she would pluck her eyelashes so that when she shut her eyes and she had like really white skin and she had uh, like white eyebrows. So when she would shut her eyes, it would just like look like she like didn't have a face and she enjoyed that look. <laughs> um, 
and there was a few different times that like different teachers had like come at like one of us and the other one was like defending that person like with, with stuff that we probably we knew the other one was wrong like I think one time she had like snuck out or something and then when she came back they had like questioned both of us and I didn't even know that she'd snuck out and I was like no she definitely didn't sneak out because we were talking at about three o'clock in the morning I woke up and I was missing my grandmother my grandmother like already been dead for 10 years I was like I was missing my grandmother and we spoke about it so I know she did not sneak out and then like and then like later that day she's like did you tell them we were talking at 3 a.m about your dead grandma I was like yeah of course bitch what am I gonna say oh I was fast asleep so she has no alibi no and then like another time you weren't you like our our dress code was like really stupid. So I uh, wore something out of the dorm that I wasn't supposed to and they check you as you walk through. So I like actually wore something, they checked me and then I went and I changed. And then I got in trouble and they asked her, cause I said, oh, I walked through and the teacher didn't say anything. And they asked her, She was, they were like, well, did your roommate walk through? And the teacher checked her and she goes, yeah. Cause I remember even the teacher even said, oh, I love that skirt. So, so Nancy was ride or die. So, uh, you know, she was a good roommate. We shared many a ramen together. Uh, I have like nothing bad to say about Nancy. Um, so Nancy is probably one of the best roommates I've ever had, mainly because of our differences and us being willing to overlook each other's differences because she was like into like, you know, uh, heavy rock. She was into like mosh pits. She was like really a big part of the LGBT community. Like I think she was the um, like leader or something or like the president. And then I was all into like Backstreet Boys, Barbie, you know, Dave Matthews. So even though we were so vastly different, we like really worked well together. Um, yeah, so that's Nancy. I have not spoken to her, seen her in probably about, whew, I don't even know, definitely over a decade. So next I have a bunch of different stories for you guys. I need you to tell me. I need, I'm gonna put like, do you wanna hear this? And then you need to like it. And then put, do you wanna hear this? And you need to like it. And the one that gets the most likes, I'm gonna do. So I had a roommate who fell in love with me, who tried to date me. I had a roommate who tried to kill me. I had a roommate who tried to take over my identity. I had a roommate, I mean, I've had a lot of roommates, but let's just go with those for now. So I'm gonna put those below. You like whichever one you would like to see. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.